Welcome back to Tightwipe Workshop. In this video we'll be making the diagonal struts for the four pallet workbench. Start by retrieving the longest narrow board offcuts from the blue tub. To make four struts we need four boards of 600 millimeters, 24 inch, and four shorter ones of 475 millimeters, 18 and a half inch. We can get the 475 mil boards from the offcuts but we'll need to ripsaw these wide boards to get the 600mm ones. Start by marking a 45 degree angle on one end of each of the shorter boards. Next, measure and mark a 600mm length on one of the wide boards. Then use one of your narrow boards to mark the width we'll be cutting out. Mark the waist side with some pencil lines, as usual. Now mark a 45 degree line at the end of the board. Repeat this process for the other three wide boards. Take the wide boards to your saw stool and cut off the waist end. Now set yourself up and make the long rip cut. I later found that the board's easier to hold if you do the rip cut first and the cross cut second. Repeat these cuts for the other three wide boards. Head back over to your temporary workbench and use your tenon saw and bench hook to make the 45 degree cuts. Make these cuts on all eight of the boards. That completes the saw work for the struts. It's easier to cut the 90 degree points on the other ends of the boards during the bench assembly process. Next, take one of your completed bench legs and measure the length of its diagonal trench. If you're using a standard EPAL, this should be about 125 millimeters, five inches. Use that measurement to mark a 45 degree line across the end of your long boards. OK, so I just made a mistake there that I won't notice for about 30 minutes. I was supposed to mark out two left-handed and two right-handed struts, but instead I went with four left-handed ones. Let's just wait and see how Mr. Tightwad from the past reacts when he realises what happened. This is how the two parts of each strut are going to fit together in the gluing clamps. Lay out your gluing clamps and build up the glue stack in the usual way. So, has he noticed yet? Seems not. I didn't record any footage of the fix-it process, but luckily the glue was still very wet. I fixed the problem by removing the top two struts and swapping their positions around. The sheets of plastic are needed to prevent the top three struts from sticking together because this swapping process left glue on the outsides of the strut units. This time for sure. Okay, let's undo these clamps and see what we've got. Plastic sheets work well to keep the struts from sticking together.
Unfortunately, that bottom pair stuck to each other and to the bottom clamp. Going to need reinforcements for this job. Yeah, not so tough against the Swedish steel, are ya? The final bit of preparation for the struts is to plane their edges. You won't be able to reach these with the plane once they're installed, so only skip this step if you're prepared to live with your rough edge struts forever. In the next video we'll use these struts to assemble the workbench frame. I'll just finish off the rest of these now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience.